Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Amrit Anand and in this video we are going to learn how to resolve could not find or load main class error. So let's get started. Okay, so now I am going to open up my Eclipse ID and here you can see that I have created a program that will basically take an integer and then print its factorial. But while I am running this program, I am facing the issue could not find or load main class. Now let's understand this error, what actually it is. Whenever we write a program and compile it, we need to execute that compiled class file. And while executing if java virtual machine does not find a dot class file with the same name that we have specified, then a runtime error occurred and this is could not find or load main class. Now how we can resolve this? We have basically two methods. Let's see the first one. For the first one, we will go to our package and right click here. Then we will be clicking on build path. After that, we will be clicking on this configure build path. And then we will see that there is JRE system library. We will single click here and then click on the remove button. After that, we will be clicking on apply and close. Once we have done with this, we will again go to our same package and then right click here. We will again click on build path, but this time here, we will be clicking on add libraries. After that, we will be clicking on JRE system library and we will ensure that whether workspace default JRE is marked or not. If it is marked, then it is good. If it is not, then please mark it here. After that, we will be clicking on finish button and now you can see that the new JRE system library again created. Now, if we will run our program, then you can see that we will get the correct output. And this is how we can solve this issue by first method. Most probably that your problem must be solved. And if it is not solved, then we will go through the second one. Okay, so next method to solve this issue is by changing the workspace of your ID. For that, we will be making a folder on our desktop or maybe some other places. And then let's say I'm giving the name as workspace. You can give any name, right? After that, just go to your ID and then click on the file button. Now here you can see that we have an option that is switch workspace. After that, just click on the other button. And then here you can browse that particular folder. Since I have created that folder on my desktop, I will be going to the desktop. Let me search it. Okay, so desktop is here. Now we will be clicking on this workspace. And after that, we will be clicking on this select folder. And then we will be launching our workspace. Once we have done this, in a few seconds, we will find that our workspace has been launched. Now we are able to create a new project here. Let's say I'm creating a project uh, named as GFG. We do not need to create any module. So I will be clicking on do not create. And I'm going to create a new class file here. Let's say the name of this particular class file as F-A-C-T-O-R-I-A-L factorial and then finish it. After that, I will be pasting the same program that I have written earlier. And then I will be running this. I will be click on OK. And now you can see that we have the correct output. So we have learned all the methods through which we can solve this issue. Okay, geeks, if you are having any doubt regarding whatever I have explained in this video, do ask in the comment section. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Geeks for Geeks YouTube channel.